All right, so we got the Herculiner bed kit here. We bought this off Amazon. I'll, show, I'll link it in the description, but this is what we're gonna be using on the Chevy truck, the OBS 1990. And uh, we'll see how it works. I'll tell you what I think of it. Applying all the instructions. I mean, we got it. Looks like someone drop kicked it from Amazon. You know, thanks a lot, Jeff Bezos. So I'll install it, show up, play a video. I'll tell you what I think about it. Give it a little review. We'll see how it turns out. Herculiner. All right, so this is a roller kit. And um, first step is prep to clean it, scuff it, and mask the truck. We went ahead and already washed it. We're gonna scuff up any little areas we wanna do before the paint, then you apply it. And it looks like it says it dries to touch in one to three hours, ready to use in nine to 12. So we'll go ahead and test that out. In the kit themselves, they give you the roller and they give you a little scuffing pad. So we'll be using their stuff. They do not they do not give you some sort of paint can to roll it in. Or not can, but tray. But we'll make do with what we got. All right, so the truck has already been washed. Okay, and this, we're not expecting perfect. This is a work truck when we got a little dent there in the wheel well. But little spots right here where we have a little surface rust. Before we paint that, we're gonna take a little steel wire brush and a Milwaukee drill and just get rid of it. Pretty much like that. Before we paint, we'll do that to any little spots around. We got some more over there. And just little spots before we paint. All right, now that we scuffed up all the little surface rust areas, we're gonna go ahead and tack down everything with a wet rag. Just wipe it, one, wipe it down one last time before we start taping off and getting ready to paint. All right, once everything is wiped down, we're gonna start masking off the actual bed of the truck for the paint. That's the last step. Remember, everything is all about the prep. You need to prep well, that way your paint will turn out nice. All right, so now we're getting ready to pour the Herculiner into this painter tray that we had laying around. You can pick one up at Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, for cheap if you don't have one yourself. And one thing to note is this, please do not shake a can and open care. So we're just gonna pour it on and we're gonna do roll the roller because we wanna do a lot more texture. You can spray this on, but you'll probably lose some of the texture by spraying. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in and start the painting process. All right, we're getting ready to lay some paint down. And before I mentioned, don't forget to steer it. A lot of the contents for the texture was just pulling up on the bottom. Make sure you mix it. I just used a big flathead screwdriver. And uh, we're gonna start from, we're gonna go top to bottom. So we'll go around the top and then we'll work on the bed floor. And if I didn't mention, this is a long bed. This is an eight foot bed. So we'll see if one gallon and cover a whole eight foot bed. Ideally, we would want to get two coats, but we'll see what we can do. All right, so this is the first coat done. We're gonna let it dry for a few hours. Initial thoughts? Um, well, the paint definitely needs two coats. When it rolls, it doesn't get everything in person, you can see a lot better where it thins out in certain portions. And if you try and re-roll over it, it'll just make grooves and drag paint with it. So it definitely needs two coats. This is a long bed truck. We got a gallon. We're about two thirds of the gallon. So we'll see how it looks after we get the second coat on later, but we're gonna let it dry for a few hours and attack it later. All right, day two, definitely needs a second coat. You can see areas where the paint's still coming through. So we'll go ahead and throw a second coat down and see what it looks like for you guys. All right, second coat done. Doesn't look that bad. Definitely needs at least two coats. I was scraping just to get the two coats on this one. Like used every drip of paint left in that can. I think if I was to do it next time, I would do aerosol. But um, 
we'll see how it holds i'll let it dry up cure for the next couple of days i'll throw some stuff in the truck bed see how it holds how it wears and i'll give you guys an update all right it's now been a couple of weeks since we applied this uh park gear liner for the bed and so far it's staying pretty true to color you still see some dirt that's uh sticking on the paint but i'm sure it'll come off with a wash i would say this uh this liner is holding up we went ahead and we we've been using this truck as is putting stuff in it loading it rims tires garbage and uh, it is a work truck and so far it's holding up in all honesty, I think overall I prefer just a plastic liner, such as this F-150. However, this uh, roll-on bed liner isn't a bad option either, and it's certainly cheaper. So depending on what fits your budget, what fits what you're looking for, this ain't a bad option either. If you have used Hercule liner, go ahead and let us know what you think in the comments down below, or let us know if you have any questions down in the comments as well. We are not sponsored by Hercule Liner, just giving our honest opinion and seeing how the product works for us. I'll give an update later on, maybe six months or so, and see if there's chips or how it holds up. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.